Good afternoon, this is Connor from Zero DTE Traders here to present our Market Minute for June 17th, 2024. It is 12 o'clock and the SPX is trading higher of 2.10.7%, 2.54.41. There's a lot of mixed signals out here, uh, maybe a slight bullish tilt. Um, and we've been favoring the upside. Uh, first and foremost, the multi-day structure is up, so uptrend. Uh, and this connects the local low uh, from the end of May. This is where we had the big bounce off the 5200 uh, put wall. Uh, we had a very nice swing trade off that handle. And we actually came into contact uh, with this upsloping structure here this morning. And uh, this was our entry uh, for, for the upside. Um, now dropping the, the time frame here so we can get a closer look. The question is upside magnitude at this juncture because uh, there's just a lot of mixed signals. Uh, it's not overly bullish, uh, but we do see some bullish indications and we got uh, option expiration flows, uh, which are supportive, right? Going into that big triple witching on Friday. Um, so though there are some micro resistance up here, 54, yeah, I mean, 54.40, 54.45. Um, the major resistance is 54.50, uh, followed by 54.60, which is the SPY call wall. And then the implied high up here at 54.69. Uh, that's probably a bit of a stretch today. Uh, that is a 0.7% implied move uh, with the implied low down here at 53.93. Also probably uh, a bit of a stretch here today, uh, just given the signals we see. Um, so that's upside resistance. Uh, the mean or sort of the pivot is 54.25. We flirted here for a while at the market open before uh, establishing that uptrend. And uh, this has really been the center of price action over the past three sessions with a couple closes um, around this handle uh, over the past two trading sessions. Um, so perhaps we see some more positive drift this afternoon up into these big levels or uh, maybe get a bit more of, of reversion. Um, I think the easy trade has sort of played out uh, back up into that all-time high. Uh, now it's a little bit more uh, more challenging. Um, I'm out of my long position, and uh, to be honest, I'm not really interested in a short. Um, you know, shorting at all-time highs have been have been a bit of a challenge lately. If, if that's been your approach, um, plus the the trend is up. Now on the downside. 5410 and 5400 uh, remains uh, quite significant support and uh, unless we see kind of a 180 or some sort of catalyst uh, we're probably not going to test that lower bound today starting from the top the gamma index is positive 900 million that is material and the higher that gamma index the lower the return distribution simply meaning less volatility more mean reversion type price action now, where that changes is quite clear. Uh, that would be our flip, the transition of 53.95. You can see all strikes below are negative. That is destabilizing for the market price, uh, where all strikes above are positive, uh, which is supportive for the market price. You can see the significance of 5,400 support, the pivot of 54.25, and the big resistance level of 54.50. Now, our upper bound and call wall sits at 5,500. Um, so we're seeing a lot of overbought signals in the market uh, from a technical perspective. But if you look at options positioning, we are not overbought. There is still room up to 5,500. Um, so this is classified as our upper bound and peak gamma. Now, the main event this week is the big option expiration on Friday. It is the quarterly triple witching. It is call weighted, and we anticipate around 35% of total S&P uh, open interest set to be removed, uh, which will shake things up next week. But as far as this week goes, the market should remain uh, well supported as long as we hold above that flip handle. Uh, now, that flip can shift uh, day to day, so definitely something you want to, to come back here and check. Um, but the, the hedging activity from these flows, um, so the decline in short-term implied volatility, as well as the theta decay, uh, should invoke buy flows and uh, see a bit of a positive drift type action. Additionally, the market tends to, to gravitate um, towards these big liquidity zones in the final week of option expiration. Um, so that would include 5,400 on the downside and 5,450 on the upside. Uh, if we close on a positive note, that magnet may shift higher. Um, but as far as today goes, uh, 5,450 is our, our magnet. Um, so 5,450, 5,460 uh, potential pinning type zone today. 
All right, guys, that's all I have for you. If you're not a member and you're interested in learning more, you can visit our website at zerodtetraders.com. Best of luck out there today.